In this video from Sam for s Help, we're taking a look at um, TIL security in terms of um, manager control of the function buttons on the ER900 series of registers. So as normal I'm using the 940 model in this video, uh, but the programming process is the same uh, across the range, it just might be that you've got a slightly different keyboard to me. So this video is about uh, preventing abuse of sensitive function keys um, on the 900s. So in particular we're going to look at um, putting manager control on the cancelled, cancel sale, the refund button and also the no sale button. Bit of a disclaimer up front, please watch the video all the way through but also to, to do your own programming you're really going to need access to the manual in particular you're going to be looking for the programming section on the function key programs uh, because each function key um, has will work in a slightly different way and will have different amounts of things that can be changed with it so it's not that one code whatever I do to um, the no sale button it might be a different process on the um, on other buttons so you've kind of got to watch the video but also then refer to the manual so what am I talking about with function keys on, on this machine, the 940 and also the 920, this portion of the keyboard, PLU, so they're all your individual products. So these will be preset products with prices and descriptions. And then we call the function keys, all the buttons on the far right. Um, so your number buttons, um, your tender buttons, um, price levels, and then things like void, um, cancel sale, and all that sort of thing. What, why do you want to protect these? Obviously, the, the, some of these, particularly the no sale, allow you to open the drawer. Um, you may want that sort of thing reserved for the manager control. The way that works on these tills is I'll do the programming on the three buttons I've suggested, and then you'll see that it basically, if you're in the reg mode, you cannot use those buttons. It's only someone with the manager key that can authorize a no sale or a refund. Okay, so I'll, I'll do the free buttons now, I'll do the programming and then show you a bit how it works afterwards. So um, in addition to the manual, you'll need the P key and you'll need to turn it around to the PGM position. The first button we're going to look at is cancel sale. So we're going to change the function settings for this button uh, to only work in the X mode. So that means you've got to have the X key or manager key to be able to use cancel sale after this program. So it's 70 subtotal, that's the main address for function status. And then the function status for this button is going to be 2. And then you press the button that you're programming, so cancel sale. And then the cash button to confirm. I'll, I'll do them all and then I'll show you what's printed out. So the next button I'm going to edit is the no sale button. So again it's 70 subtotal to go to function status. And then the code I've worked out for the no sale button is 2000. Then you press the no sale button itself and then cash. So that's just another example of how you have to be really careful to just not jump in and do the same code for each button because the cancel sale button is much more straightforward button in terms of its programming, uh, whereas the no sale button has a lot more options on it. And the last button I'm going to do is the re return button, so I don't want people without the X key to be able to do refunds in the in the reg mode so 70 subtotal gets you to function status the code for this button is 20 and then the button itself so merchandise return and then cash to save so it's really important that you do have it before you start doing this program in yourself you have a look at the manual and you see in the function key programs there's there's so many different settings for each button um, you'll see when you look at the cancel sale button you see why I've set the status to 2 and then the no sale button to 2 triple zero and then the re uh, merchandise return button to 20 um, once you finish your programming key back to reg um, so if we now put a sale in and decide to cancel it we get the warning message so it only works X mode only so Obviously you'd need to get the manager over or someone over with the X key, explain why you were cancelling the sale, and then you'll be able to cancel the sale in the X mode. Key back to Reg, obviously I've got a master key in that'll go to every key position. A better demonstration would be if I'd had the Reg key in, that would have to be taken out and then the manager key put in. Uh, should be the same with the no sale button. So again, you can't open 
uh, the till draw without manager authority and return as well so I want to put a return through no same problem again clear the error message manager can come along with a manager key and then process the return as intended okay I hope that video has been helpful I can't stress enough I know I've banged on about it how important it is to double check with the manual yourself if you haven't got a copy of the manual you can download it from the internet um, have a read through of it and cross reference the charts and the flow charts in the manual against each button and what I've done in this video and hopefully it should be clear to you um, we've got plenty of other videos showing you how to get the best out of the ER900s uh, some of which will be appearing on screen now you're welcome to check those out you can also subscribe to this YouTube channel or visit samforesthelp.co.uk for more thanks for watching